all right what is up guys uh we're back again with a, another modding video today i'm gonna be showing you quant v one of the lightest graphic mods out there right now also a good competitor with nve right now compared to nve quant v is not only free but it's also less than 10 megabytes which is a fraction of what nve is at around over two gigabytes so it's going to be extremely compact extremely lightweight but it's still going to give you a decent buff into your graphics so in this video i'm going to be showing you how you want to install it regularly through single player like we usually do with our other mods but i'm also going to be showing you a method to install it through rage mp so you don't have to modify any of your single player files at all and then i'm going to be giving you a showcase and at the very end of the video so make sure you guys stick around I'm going to be showing you some compatibility with other mods uh, when it comes to Quan V. If it's going to be compatible with NVE, if it's going to be compatible with my other modding videos, make sure you guys stick around until the end if you guys want to see that. So if you guys want to skip to a specific part of the video, I'm going to be leaving timestamps in the description below so you guys can watch what you want. But uh, if you guys watch to the do watch to the end, I do appreciate it. Make sure you guys leave a like, all right? And uh, enjoy the video. So when you're downloading Quant V, first thing you want to do, you want to get on this link that I uh, that I attached in the description. You click on that, then you just want to press the download button right here. Go ahead and click that, and then just press start download, and it's going to begin downloading the mod. Then uh, we'll just let that do its thing, and then once it's done downloading, we're going to install it. So we got our files downloaded. You can see I got two folders here. I got Quant V. 2.1 uh 2.1.4 single player uh which is going to be the file that you downloaded uh, i just added the word single player at the end and then you're gonna see i have a folder called quant v rage 2.0 now i'm gonna get into this a bit later but uh for now we're gonna be going through this and uh the only files that matter here are a uh, manual install if you prefer and you know how to you can use the oiv install but uh that might not work with rage while well, this one i know for sure it's gonna work for rage so uh we have main gta folder and update main gta folder here it's just like um quant v gives you kind of like this trainer thing uh it acts as both a trainer and it also gives some uh graphic enhancements to your game unfortunately this isn't going to work with rage mp so some features that are available single player won't be available in rage mp if you're running quant v so we're gonna ignore this since it's not gonna work for uh rage mp uh, we're going to go to update, update.rpf, then we just got our regular files here, common and x64. Once we have this opened up, we just want to bring up OpenIV next. So we got OpenIV uh, started up here. As usual, we're going to go to update, update.rpf, then we're going to start with the common folder. I'm going to go to data, do the same here. Then we're going to see time cycle, HBAO, all this stuff. You just want to put on edit mode. And then just drag and drop all these files here. And then we should be set on that. Once we have that done, we want to go back here, uh, exit that. And then we want to go to X64 and then down to textures. We want to do the same here. Want to exit that, go to X64, textures right here. Then we just want to drag and drop like usual. Put it into that. And then we should be set. We can uh, close up OpenIV now. All right, so as usual, the next most important step, you want to go to your GTA 5 directory. You want to go to update. You're going to see your update.rpf. Now you want to open up your archive fix. Just drag and drop like usual. Let that do its thing. Once it says it's done, you can close that up. Now, uh, if you do plan on using this on single player, I'm going to show you how you want to install the uh, trainer that comes installed with uh, that comes with quant v you just want to drag and drop this uh the files here just copy that and then uh you can see already have it here but uh all you want to do is you just want to paste that make sure that you also have script hook v installed um it's very simple i'm gonna leave you a link to download script hook in the description if you're interested Alright guys, so we are here on single player right now with Quant V installed. This is what your game is going to be looking like. Uh, like I said, if you install this on single player and you install the Quant V.ASI, you're going to have a little menu that you can access on the top right. We can uh, 
change the time and weather so we can kind of see how the different settings interact with each other. So you can see this is what it's going to be looking like if you, let's say, set uh, thunder uh, at night time. So uh, I think Quan V is definitely, definitely gives your game a better look than how it is in vanilla. It doesn't take that much um, performance off your game to be honest. I'm running uh, this with uh, 60 FPS, 50, 50 to 60 on the top left you can see. And I got the rain reflections and everything already on. I personally like the way it looks. I like that it's so lightweight compared to uh, some of these other mods. Uh, I do also have ENB installed right now, so I can uh, turn that on. It's gonna tank the performance a bit more, but it's definitely gonna complement what Quanti already got going on. So, yeah, this is pretty much how it's gonna be looking like uh, in your game. It's definitely nice. Um, it changes the skybox as well, so it behaves a bit like... Um, natural vision you can actually stack this on top of natural vision if you want but um, that kind of looks a bit funky in my opinion I'll show you what that looks like uh, later on if you're curious but yeah you can stack this on top of uh, NVE so you are gonna still have like custom buildings that NVE gives you but uh, the skybox is gonna be different it's gonna be using the one v one Alright, so going back to Quant V for a bit, uh, I'm gonna talk about the Rage folder that I have in my Quant V downloads. So uh, the credit for this uh, actually goes to Badass Baboon from the GTA World forums. Uh, I found this file uh, from him actually. This is a alternative method on installing Quant V uh, um, through Rage MP without having to modify your single player files. The only downside of using this uh, version is that it's not going to work in single player. So I'm going to show you how to install this real quick. If you're interested in Badass Baboon's other stuff, I'm going to link his uh, modding thread on the GTA World forums in the description below. Alright, so when you're installing this version, it's very simple. Uh, you can see that uh, the first thing you want to access is uh, your Rage MP installation. Uh, in my case, I have it on my C drive, so you're going to see a folder called User Resources. If it's not there yet, then you can just create it. Uh, if you don't have any other mods before this, all you need to do is literally copy this. You just want to copy this folder and then paste it here. That's all you need to do. And then your quantity is going to be installed through Rage MP. So every time you launch Rage MP, it's going to replace the files in your base game using this. 
but then the only downside is that when you launch single player it's not gonna uh, tell HMP to replace those files so you're not gonna have the mod installed there but uh, it is a bit simpler if you don't want to risk breaking anything then uh, you can always use this method instead all right so that is pretty much it for installing quant v now i'm going to talk a bit about uh compatibility with other mods uh, like i mentioned before quant v is quote unquote compatible with uh natural vision evolve if you stack them on top of each other it is gonna look a bit funky at some places but if you like the aesthetics of quant v you like how the game looks with that but uh, you also want the custom buildings and lights and whatnot that comes with natural vision. You can stack them on top of each other. Just make sure you install NV first and then you modify the update folder from the uh, NV file that you copied. Just a few things you want to keep in mind when you're doing this. Just make sure you keep a backup of your actual NV file or your just vanilla update file in case you want to revert back to it. Because, uh, you know, like I said, it might look a bit weird and you might not like it. Moving on from uh, NVE, Quant V is also compatible with uh, pretty much every ENB out there. There are some ENBs like PRSA that is a uh, tent that tends to crash when you have it installed alongside uh, what's it called uh, script hook. So if you have script hook and the Quant V ASI installed, I'd recommend removing those before you install ENB such as PRSA. Even when you're not using PRSA, if you're using an NB like uh, the one that comes with natural vision, just make sure you uh, remove the ASI since you're not really going to be needing that in RageMP anyways, and it might uh, interfere and cause your game to crash. All right, last thing um, for compatibility. The only thing you should worry about uh, when you're going through my past videos is Radiance V. Quant V is not really compatible with Radiance V. Uh, if you go through the files here uh, on my screen, you can see if you go on common data, you can see visual settings here. This is the same file that Radiance V uses. So if you install this file, you are going to over, uh, override Radiance V. So if you want to keep Radiance V or you want to install Radiance V on top of Quant V, just uh, leave this file out and don't drag this in and you should be good. Everything else like LA roads, weapon mods, vehicle mods, they should work uh, seamlessly with uh, Quant V. You shouldn't encounter any issues with it. All right, guys, so that is it for the video today. If you guys enjoyed it, please do leave a like and subscribe. If you guys got any uh, suggestions, any comments like that, make sure you leave it in the comments. And if you guys got questions, you can also leave it there. Uh, if you've been keeping up with the channel, then you know that I always try to respond to those. Especially when you guys are looking for help on if you're experiencing an issue with a certain mod, I always try to help you guys out. So if you do find something weird, then uh, feel free to ask. Don't be afraid to ask questions. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.